Alright, so you want to learn scripting, but you're thinking, oh, hey, th this this is too hard, I can't do this. Well, um, I'm here to show you that it's really not that hard, and also I suggest having this output thing here really fast, but it's really not that hard, so... I'm not going to really go that in depth because this isn't really like a full on tutorial. This is more so something to kind of motivate you to get into scripting. But like, so let me just show you something here. So if we were to like insert a part or whatever, yeah. Um, so we have a part here. Like your usual tutorial would be like local, blah, blah, blah equals very complicated stuff that you don't know yet you don't actually have to do this you just have to like, kind of understand how it works and uh basically well it kind of is a tutorial but gabe.workspace.part that's referring to this and if you think about it here you gotta think of it as kind of like a folder to make sense so the game folder has the workspace in it, which is also a folder itself, which is containing a part. So, it's really just that. And if you look inside the part, it has all these properties. So, the part itself is a folder of its own properties. So, if you think of it that way, then that doesn't make it too difficult to understand, does it? This transparency, that's pretty easy now you could just set that to one and it would be transparent when I press play now <clears throat> that's basically that however a variable which is this thing I was talking about in the beginning <laughs> okay I'm gonna mistake my words here but it is what it is so let's just say part equals game dot workspace dot part if now if you're a coder you'd pretty obviously understand what this means but we're just basically we're literally just going to the part folder again and then if we recall this part property or part variable I mean we get all the properties inside the part folder it's not actually a folder I'm just referring it to as a folder kind of because it's like the easiest way to understand and we can even add stuff into this well folder <laughs> I'm just gonna keep calling it that and it will show up if we select it and that's a variable now that's one of the two things I always use now this is an if statement <clears throat> Now, this is not difficult to understand at all. So, if true, then print. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm holding my microphone right now. Uh, can I lift? No! Hang on. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, print hi. Now, if true, it will print high, which essentially means it will always print high. That is not difficult to understand at all. And those two, <clears throat> that's basically all I ever use. And, uh, of course you have, uh, game.workspace.part.touched, which is an event in... And, uh, you could probably just watch whatever you want to f to figure out what this stuff is. Um, yeah, you have this, <clears throat> which is, uh, yeah, it basically detects whenever you hit this. And the cool thing about this is that if you have a folder, so let's just say hit, and what I mean by hit is the part that is touching this part here so we could do dot parent which is referring to 
let's just say we have this part here. We have this one selected. If we say dot parent, that's referring to the folder that it's connected to, essentially. And we could do this as many times as we want to. Uh, <clears throat> but if I did do that, it would just be a workspace. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for scripting really those are all the two things i use most of the time but like don't get it confused you should still learn functions and stuff they like there will be times you have to use things and there's other stuff like tweens and whatever just take it one step at at a time really there's not much to it it's not difficult um it it's just really time consuming to learn but once you learn it it's kind of it kind of just is pretty easy it's not difficult um yeah that's it see ya